Hello guys, um, I want to go ahead and welcome you guys to La Perose Kitchen. Um, this is going to be my very first episode. I know I've spoken about this with some of you guys on Facebook already. Um, you all wanted me to make a video showing you guys how I cook the things I cook, how I present them the way I do. Um, and I feel like, okay, how about creating a YouTube platform? I had Jenkins say something, I had Nancy, secondly what he, uh, Jenkins was talking about. So so um, this is going to be the very first episode, I'm going to try to do this as much as often. I'm going to make my videos, I won't really be posting them on Facebook, I will share the link, you can come over here and watch, um, pretty much see what I do, sometimes we have to learn, we do not really know everything, I am not perfect um, with the things I'm going to be doing, but I am going to do my best, I'm pretty good at what I do. Um, I'm going to make some stuff, there's going to be traditional stuff, I'll try to make them as much as I can, that way it's really close to what we eat back home. And there are the things that I also came up with and I've had other people eat it and the love it. I have my own kind of shrimp that I make, I have people drooling all over it. So I will post those things on here, my potatoes and just whatever. You guys can come on here, watch them, you know take a look at the recipes and you guys can make whip up some quick meals at home so today um, what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be making bongo uh, bongo chubby I have on here if you can see um, I do have some celery I have some legs there's ginger I have country onion I also have some white pepper um, I have jansengar there's garlic on here um, there's a little bit of ginger and then there is bebe on here um, they call this thing I think African nutmeg or something I'm gonna tell you a little secret about this in just a little bit I have some tomatoes I've got some bay leaves it's mixed with the bongo spice already I know it's one of its contents but I just, I just like throwing a few of them in there to enhance the flavor um, there's some black pepper I have some salt on here and of course I have some fresh uh, mackerel um, I'm gonna be doing this with plantains and I'm also gonna be adding some bubble in there um, what else I've got some onions so how about we get this thing going so I'm gonna go ahead cut up my onions in two I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. So I'm gonna be chopping everything up and then we're gonna go ahead and pretty much just blend everything together. That's uh, how it's done. So I've got my onions on here. I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes. I have four plum tomatoes. so. This is gonna be good. And I'm gonna cut this. And then I also have some leeks. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. I don't have to chop them so fine since I'm gonna be blending it. Yes, so our leeks. Cut this one also. the time if you have people at home who do not really eat this you don't have to put it in there you can just throw it in but I mean the people I'm cooking for everyone is gonna ask why is there no pepper in the soup so I'm throwing that in there as well and this is uh, basil it's cut manjo as we call it back home I also like throwing a couple of those in there so then this is our white pepper barbara blanc this is our corn 
sweet onion. It's been ground already. If you know what it is, it's kind of like a seed. I don't have any, but I will get some of this. I will upload a photo at the end with this. Just so you know exactly what it is if you go to your African store to buy it. But if you go into an African store, just tell them you want uh, country onion. They will pre I think they'll know what it is. So I'm gonna put in my ginger. And here's the mbombo spice itself. I'm also gonna go ahead and put that in in just a second. But for now, let's see. So I said I was gonna tell you a little secret about uh, the spices I have on here. This is bebe, and if you really want to get the flavor out of it, uh, the way my mom used to do it, just burn it up a little bit, which is what I did with this one earlier. If you go ahead and get this burnt out, put it on your stove or something, just burn it a little bit, it enhances the flavor. That's kind of like a secret. Um, I'm just throwing in that in here. That's just for the house, guys. So this, I'm gonna put it in my stove when it's already done. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water in here, not forgetting our black pepper. I'm gonna take this off. And for uh, for the bongo spice, I have about five tablespoons in here, so it's a pretty a reasonable quantity. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, I have my fish in here, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it on the bowl, right there, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some salt, and salt my fish, and Go ahead and get that salted and after I have the salted what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just pour my bongo spice all over the, uh, this babies on here let's put this
continue on here. This is ready. So this is our bongo right here. Um, as soon as I get my oil heated up, I'm gonna have to just go ahead and put these babies in. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my onions. And in here I have a cup of oil. So I'm just gonna sauté my onions a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put these babies in. right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put two of them in and when my food's almost ready I'll taste it and see if one more is needed. So this is gonna be for my pay guys. You know I'm cooking for you all, my man. Um, you could jump on here if you want to make something really easy. It's just not, I mean, this is not when it has to be just the lady. If your lady's at work, you know, you could stay at home. Um, or if it's your off day, you know. Other than waiting for her to get back from work and get into the kitchen just to make something for you guys to eat, you could just go ahead, you know, and whip up something real quick before she gets back. Um, what I'm gonna do as time goes by, I'm gonna have a lot of quick recipes on here. That way, for you guys, if you wanna make something really, really quick, I have meals that will only take you about 30, you know, 30 minutes, 35 minutes to make. Um, and believe me, there are things you have at home already, so it's not gonna take that much of your time. And you know, when she gets back from work really tired and she's hoping to come back home and jump in the kitchen to make something for you guys to eat, imagine the feeling she's gonna have when she gets there and you have something all set for you guys to eat already. That would be really great. So I think it's something good. I'm gonna try to keep this channel running as much as I can. Um, I will have a lot of things on here for us. So right now I have my bongo in the pot. I have everything all set in here. Um, there really isn't anything else that I need to do. All I need to do right now is just go ahead and cover this up. Let it cook uh, until it's ready. Here we are. We're gonna check on this. We're gonna go ahead and add in two peppers. This is my bay leaf, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them in there for extra flavor. And the thing with bongo is you want to avoid too much stirring, that way you don't mess up your fish. So I always do this, it's easier, just so it doesn't burn at the bottom and it doesn't make my fish tear apart so much. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and test this real quick. Perfect. The 
this is almost ready as you can see I have my plantains on the fire over there um, and I also have my all right so here we are this is almost done got like some three more minutes to go and this is gonna be perfect to go can never go wrong with this just need to let it reduce a little bit I need the bongo to, to be a little bit thicker than it is right now so I'm not gonna cover it just let the water evaporate and it's gonna be very very perfect so guys this is a quick meal if you have everything all prepped shouldn't take you more than an hour to get this bongo ready see what it tastes like um, and if you follow the recipe just like I showed you you're gonna have the same thing on your table and I tell you the taste is gonna be the same so let's just go ahead and dig into this baby and see what we can get mm. there's some good baton right there mm. and Mm. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong, guys. You really can't. Mm. Mm. Ah, this is some good food. This is really, really good. You should try this. Remember, it doesn't take too long to cook. If you're from Cameroon and you do not cook this, believe me, the gods of Mongo are gonna be mad at you. Mm. 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 Yeah. Oh boy. This is good well this is episode one um we're gonna have something coming up next remember subscribe just so you do not miss an episode or anything i'm gonna be updating you and periodically we're gonna do some fun stuff in between but for now remember what we did today